everybody, it's Edie, and today I have a bit of a Halloween slash witchy haul, and I wanted to show you what I picked up from the thrift store yesterday. So if we're Facebook friends, then you saw my picture of the thing that I picked up at the thrift store yesterday, and I am so fucking excited about this thing. Oh my god. So I'm going to show you what it is, and then I'll tell you more about it. So I went into the thrift store yesterday. And I was looking around and I wasn't really finding anything and then from across the room she called to me <laughs> and I was like this eh, well there's not really a <gasps> so I made a beeline across the fucking store oh look she's shedding there's oh god no that's ew ew anyway <laughs> Uh, so I made a beeline across the store to get to her and I, I thought it was just a stationary prop when I first saw it and then when I picked it up it started to move <laughs> oh my god this is what I got at the thrift store yesterday <laughs> I thought she was just a stationary prop and at, at that point I was like oh my god that is mine I need her right I didn't know how much it was didn't really care and I just wanted her just because of how fucking awesome she is then when I picked her up I've got it off right now because otherwise she would not shut up but when I picked it up it started to move and I was like <laughs> oh my god yes so uh, I'm gonna turn it on so you can see what she does and it, it's uh, motion censored so I have to get the light just right she's got a little sensor here in her belly and I'm filming in my living room today because my neighbors are having their trees trimmed or removed or I don't know what the fuck they're doing but the tree people are right outside my witchy room window and I'm on the back side of my house right now and I can still hear it so I don't know if you guys are picking it up or not um, I actually I'm using a different mic today too. I'm using the built-in mic on the new camcorder, which I've never used before. And I'm in my living room, which it, it's it's a large room, so we still have a slight bit of an echo in here, even though it's full of fucking furniture. Uh, so I'm not really sure how the sound quality is going to be today, but I hope that you can hear me okay. That the built-in mic is doing all right. I'm just not really digging the sound with that expensive plug-in mic that I got. So, yeah, um, not really happy with that. But I'm gonna turn her on and I hope you can hear her. And like I said, there, I'm in the living room and the lighting is not great today. I didn't bring the studio lights in here. Um, but I do have two skylights and the living room lights on and it's a drizzly day, so hopefully the light's okay. But anyway, this is what she does. If I can... I'm not talking, I'm just gonna... I was like holy shit I've got to have this fucking doll so I took it up to the front I was like excuse me there's no price on her <laughs> could you tell me how much she is she's like $12.96 do you want her <laughs> I was like yes I do thank you very much she was like no thank you she's like we've been trying to hide that thing for days we keep putting it under the counter we put it on the back shelves and we keep hearing it go off and we're please take it <laughs> thrift store yesterday super good find $12.96 and I think I mean I haven't looked it up but I'm assuming this is at least a $50 prop probably closer to 70 
So 13 bucks, can't beat that. Now the other two things that I have are things that I purchased from Amazon and that have come in the mail and I just haven't opened them yet. I saved them to open on video. And um, one is for my bathroom and the other is something that I saw on display at another witchy shop. So um, the first thing that I wanna open is this. Now, I know my witchy friends have, or my Halloween friends, have probably seen this going around on, actually, holy shit. Now I'm questioning what's in this package, oh God. I don't know what this is. The thing I ordered should be nothing but fabric, but there's something else moving around in here. Something, you can't hear it, but there's something in there that's not fabric. So anyway. Um, we're gonna find out together. Um, so, I know you've seen this going around on Pinterest. It's a picture of a bathroom and the shower curtain is the witch's brew tan and black shower curtain. If I can find it, I know I have a picture of it on Pinterest. I'll insert it right here. So this is the picture that I found on Pinterest. And I was like, oh my God, yes, I want that shower curtain. This was like a year and a half ago. This was before we left Sicily that I saw this shower curtain for the first time and I was like, oh my God. So I started searching for it and it was like $50 when I first started searching for it. I put it in my wish list and just kind of for, never forgot about it but kept going back to it and it was never, it never got below $40. Then about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, Two or three weeks ago, I, I happened to look it up again because you know we've just moved into Dewberry Manor and I'm still decorating different parts of the house. And um, the bathroom, so, okay, so we have three bathrooms. One bathroom is up by the kitchen that is kind of just for Christopher because it's near his bedroom. And that's also where my laundry room is. So no one really uses that bathroom. The, the master bedroom, my bedroom, has a bathroom in it with a full shower, like a stand-up shower, and a jacuzzi tub, which is incredible. However, I hate the stand-up shower, and I don't take baths to bathe. I take baths to soak and relax and do that. So, for my everyday shower, I actually shower in the middle bathroom, which is Christopher's slash the guest bathroom. So, all of my stuff is in my bathroom, in my bedroom, but I do come in and shower in the middle bathroom. So, the middle bathroom is the one that I don't have a, and I, I didn't have a theme for, and so I've decided to make it witchy to kind of go along with the rest of the house just because that's the guest bathroom. My bathroom in the back of the house is actually gonna be a spa bathroom. I'm actually, I have, I filmed, I finally filmed the full walkthrough showing you Dewberry Manor. Um, I just need to record the intro and I think I'm gonna record that intro immediately after I finish filming this video. So next Wednesday, the video that I post will be the full tour of Dewberry Manor. And I'll talk more about all of those things on that video, I think. I've already filmed it so I can't really fucking remember. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway. Oh God, it's been so long since I recorded a video. But I'm trying to tell you everything because it has been so long. Anyway, so back to the Witch's Brew Shower Curtain. I checked it on Amazon and it was $14, $14.96 or something like that. I was like, oh, click mine. And so I bought it and it came in and I have not unboxed it yet. But the bathroom, is, you know, it's in the middle of the house and the rest of the house has this witchy vibe to it. So uh, we're gonna do that bathroom witchy as well. So I have not seen this yet and uh, Well, what the hell was feeling so weird? Oh, it's inside there that feels weird. <laughs> okay, so this is what the shower curtain looks like. Oh, I hope it's fabric. It was supposed to be fabric. It doesn't look fabric. <gasps> it's fabric. Yay! <laughs> it came from China, too, which, <laughs> you know, took a couple of weeks. Oh, it's the shower curtain hooks. That's... That's what I was feeling on the inside. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> that felt really weird. All right, so this is the shower curtain. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the whole thing on camera, but where's, uh, 
But uh, I'm going to do my best to show it to you. I'm going to move the camera way back and then I'm going to stand back here and uh, do my best to show you what it looks like. Alright, here's the unfurling. I hope you can see it. I'm going to like move it because I know you can't see the whole thing. But it says Witch's Brew up at the top and then as you move it up. <laughs> I know this is not a great visual, trust me, I know. And then there's a cauldron. <laughs> and then uh, just some vines and stuff around the bottom of the cauldron. So this is the whole thing. I'm gonna try and hold it up and hopefully you can see, but I can't see the camera right now, so I make no guarantees. That's it. So I haven't even looked at it. Ew, I like it. Ew, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, but it's not the same colors as it looks. It, um, the colors aren't quite the same, and I don't know, but I still like it. I do really like it, but the colors that I have picked out are actually not going to work with the color that the fabric actually is. But I'm going to do uh, the witchy theme in the guest bathroom. So it doesn't look exactly the same as it did in the picture. Maybe it'll look, and maybe it's just because I'm so close to it. Maybe once it's actually hanging on the shower, it'll look better. I mean, I'm not unhappy with it. It's just not exactly the way it looks in the picture. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I do still like it. I do still really like it a lot, and I'm happy I got it. But it's not exactly what the picture looked like. But that's okay. Um, then finally, the last thing that I got was is a book. So I ordered this from Amazon. And it came in uh, like a week ago, and I've waited to open it because I wanted to share it on camera. So when Vicki was here the last time, we went into the best witchy shop in the Hampton Roads area, which is called Rumpelstiltskin. It's our favorite witchy shop, and it's the witchy shop for the real witch. It's not fluffy. It's not new age. It's not just for people who want to get some jewelry and call themselves pagan. It's it's an actual witch supply store um, and it's decorated very cool and one day I'm gonna go in there and see if they'll allow me to film and if they will I'll give you a tour of the shop because it's really fucking cool. Uh, so we went into Rumpelstiltskin and on the shelf, not for sale, just back in the back of a shelf kind of filling in some dark space. It's a, it's a bookshelf and so back on the back of the bookshelf was this book and it was really just filling in some dark space to uh, for the, the items displayed on the top shelf. And I spotted it, I was like, oh, can I see that book? And so uh, the owner's mother, the owner wasn't there that, that day. He had actually just moved, he was moving house. And so his mother was in the shop running it that day and she got it down for me and I was like, oh, I need that book. So I looked it up on Amazon, it was like $5.99 and I ordered it. So I'm gonna open it now, maybe. Holy shit. Really? Oh my god. Dude. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, finally. So this was the book. Now I haven't seen this. I bought it used on Amazon for like $5.99, but it said that the condition was really good. So hopefully it really is really good. And they weren't just saying that. Witches by Una Woodruff. And I, I don't know if I got that first name right. Witches by Una Woodruff. This is the cover. And, oh wait. Written by Colin Wilson. So maybe Una Woodruff did the artwork? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so you can see the cover's pretty good. It's got one little one little snag right here, which I can fix, so that's okay. The book, it actually it looks really good inside so far. If you saw my last Halloween haul video, you saw that I got a little kid's book of witches' stories. This one is very similar, but it's more adult, and it's about real witches. It's also about... Um, 
a little bit on some of the pagan witches. There is stuff on here, in here, about um, like folktale witches, like Baba Yaga is in here. Um, and I'm just gonna read you the little excerpt that's here. It's a couple of paragraphs, but it says, witches. Witches, the very word conjures up mystery, darkness, and fear, mainly because we know so little about all the cult and ritual surrounding witchcraft. It's a subject that everyone knows something about, often merely old wives' tales and tall stories, but few know the facts behind the history of witchcraft. The book gives an insight into the mystery. Witches is a fully illustrated history of witchcraft and the black arts, written by the well-known authority on occult Colin Wilson and illustrated by the established artist Una Woodruff, who, is, who also has a particular interest in the subject and a special talent for portraying atmosphere in her excellent artwork. So yeah, Colin wrote it, Una illustrated it. Witches are discussed and revealed in this book from the earliest times with the Witch of Indoor and Merlin through medieval witch cults to the modern day faith healers and wart charmers. All aspects of the subject are covered, including witch trials, black masses, spells, voodoo, covens, and rituals, psychic powers and possession, earth spirits, and werewolves. Witches, with its visual excitement and informed interesting text, is an important work for specialists as well as being a fascinating book for the layman. So it is basically a history of witchcraft in all forms, across all planes. Uh, so there are, and it's, it's like there's a lot on each page. And look at that artwork. Look at that. Oh my God. And it's a thick book. Let me show you how thick it is. Oh, I just fucked up the cover. Damn it. Thick. There are, the, including the afterword, 156 pages plus an index in the back. And I wonder if there's a table of contents. So I'll just kind of read over a few of the things in the table of contents. Primitive sorcery, the coming of witches, uh, Merlin and Morgan Le Fay, the first witch trial, magic and magicians, witchcraft in Germany, Mother Shipton, witches salve, uh, the witches of Salem, the Birth of Spiritualism, The Golden Dawn, Aleister Crowley, Gerald Gardner, and The Modern Witchcraft Revival, The Death of Jane Mansfield, Brazilian Magic and Witchcraft, and that's just a few things. Like, I didn't read the whole list, but that's to kind of give you an idea as to what's in this book. So I'm going to flip through. Damn, I turned to that page again. Now I'm going to have to look at that and see what that page is trying to tell me. Um, so I'm just going to flip through, and it's got glossy pages, so I know there's a glare. Sorry about that. And I know for a fact there's a story of Baba Yaga in here because that was kind of the, the clincher for why I bought this book. <laughs> Prim that's Primitive Sorcery. The Left Hand Path, look at that. Merlin and Morgan Le Fay. just skipping chunks here and flipping through werewolves and every chapter has this same symbol and then a different image is drawn for the actual artwork here's a big color page <gasps> oh my god I want to print that and hang it up look at that look at it <gasps> Very cool. Oh, this is the cover. Look at her. Look at her. I want to print her and hang her up too. That's the cover. God damn, that's awesome. Okay, look at that. Very interesting. about the golden dawn. I wonder if that's... Hmm. 
Mm. Very cool. Ooh, look, Aleister Crowley. The artwork is incredible. And there's a lot written on each chapter, or each subject, I should say. Oh, look at that one. Ah, the pages are like, you can tell it's a delicate book. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm super excited to read this book and see exactly what all is in here. So that's it, which is by Colin Wilson and Una Woodruff. And like I said, I got it used on Amazon for like $5.99. And I think it went up from there. Or no, I didn't get the cheapest one because I wanted to make sure I got a good copy. I think there might've been a cheaper one. I can't remember. Anyway. That is it for today. I got my awesome little girl from the thrift store. I got my shower curtain, which I need to hang up and take a step back from and actually look at it a bit better. And the witch's book from Amazon. Thank you all so much for being here. Remember, if you like what I do, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. And then click the little bell. That way you don't miss anything from YouTube. They will send you an email notification letting you know that I have uploaded a new video. You can find me on Facebook and uh, where else? Facebook and my website. The, the links are down below for the places that you can find me and hang out in other locales. Although I'm not really on Facebook a whole hell of a lot anymore. Actually, I'm not on social media a whole hell of a lot anymore. And I'm actually gonna do a video about that. <coughs> Time to stop talking. Uh, gonna do a video about that as well. Remember, you are fierce, you are fabulous, and you are fucking badass. So keep that shit up, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye!